Um, hey everyone, so let's see, it's week eight. Uh, we've done, this will be our seventh video. Week eight, wow, you can, do, you can do math. Um, since then we've done a lot of things. We've lost a queen, the, the workers have made a new queen. Um, the, the hive has expanded quite a bit and uh, a lot of people have been watching us on YouTube, so that's pretty good. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody who has watched and commented because that makes a huge difference in how we do because we have obviously no idea what we're doing. We still don't know how to light the smoker, for example. Um, but today we're just going to go in and see how they've expanded. Um, we'd also like to thank Randy the Dirt Rooster. Um, he's been amazing because his v bee videos are the best and he answers emails all the time. And the Northern Virginia Beekeepers Association in Chelsea, in Chelsea where we got our bees. Um, she gave us great bees who are really calm. Our sponsor, Northside Social, who's not actually our sponsor, but the coffee is needed to yeah. get it's going. It's Sunday morning. Um, with that, we'll go in and see how they're doing today. Okay, you guys ready? Wait, yes. you forgot. You can watch all of our other bee videos. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Watch our other bee videos, they're up here on the left. And then watch Randy's videos. I linked them down below. is completely empty so we will refill that today when we get in here there's a lot of them underneath all right these end frames were completely empty two weeks or ten days ago so we'll see how they are today this one is still completely empty and we'll leave it out for now that one looks like it's empty too this one is empty too this one is also empty. These are three empty frames. And they've stayed empty. This one was also an empty frame. And it's completely drawn out on this side, but no eggs in it yet. And it's completely drawn out on this side also, but no eggs in it yet. But they're building. But they built it. This one was a brood frame that was basically all hatched out last week. Oh, and this one has tons and tons of brood. So, if you look at it on this side. This would be a good place for the queen if we were to spot her. And this side has a ton of pollen and a ton of brood in it. So they're just trying to pack stores and a whole bunch of larvae as well. Hey everyone, sorry for the short break in here. Um, but while editing, editing this video, I realized that the queen was actually on the frame next to where the open cells are. So um, I will put a little circle around her so you can see her and let me know what you think. Here, can you get these these ones right here? You see the ones that are open with the little heads in them? Yeah. No, right here on the right. Okay. Get people to identify what that is. Oh, I see. Okay, so this frame was one of the brand new frames that we put in two weeks ago. And they had built it out completely and laid a ton of eggs in it. And those have all hatched out and since been laid into again. So this is all really good brood on a completely full brand new frame. Today's a beautiful day, all the foragers are out, so I think they're just a lot less susceptible to getting pissed off at us, because these are all nurse bees. Here's another frame just packed with brood. 
think we're gonna have another giant explosion of bees in the next week and a half. We also never really, we were worried we were gonna have a, a time when there just weren't gonna be enough bees after we lost our queen, but they seem to have just Well, they rebounded. skyrocketed now, yeah, yeah, since the new queen came in. This frame that we're about to pull out was a brand new frame and it had a little bit built out on it last week and it still has they've drawn it out a little bit but not that much the top one here hasn't made that much progress except it has a whole bunch of brand new brood in it all right let's get down to the second box sound of the neighbors recycling the handles are yeah. This was a completely empty frame. Oh no, this one had been drawn out a little bit. And it's still just drawn out just a little bit. Oh, and they've started putting nectar in it. You can see the nectar in some of the cells, the shiny stuff. The end frame is completely empty still. So this frame was a honey store. We'll see how we're doing on it. Oh, look at that. So tons of honey on this one still, but they've also converted a lot of some of it into brood and it looks like they've used a ton of the honey. And then this is honey on this side also. Okay, so this was a brood frame. They've done a good job of using their propolis to lock these frames in. This is mostly hatched out brood last week. And now they've start. She started. You can zoom in and see all of the larva. There's tons of larva and tons of eggs everywhere. This was a brand new frame that we put in two weeks ago, and it's completely drawn out on this side. Far away on the other side. And drawn out really well on the other side with a whole bunch of brood and some larva and eggs in it. This one has a ton of brood on it. Still trying to see if I can spot the queen, but as we all know that this is a fuel exercise because she hates us. It's definitely not the same level of intense uh, buzzing that was going on now, last week. This one's drawn out and they've started putting nectar in it, or not nectar, pollen, and it's completely drawn on this side. I think that it's because the uh, so many of the bees are out foraging today because it's such a nice day. It's warm, it's not windy, it's not humid, so I bet the population is... Ooh. Out. So this is a nectar frame with nothing in it on this side. It used to be completely full and this is a full honey frame, or not a full honey frame, half honey frame. And there's nothing on that last frame. We should smoke them back down into the hive. Yeah, when we put the top one on. Oh look, and the smoker is actually working. Yeah. I'm just going to grab you just a little bit. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. What do you think? It's delicious. Very sweet. All right. Well, we can close them up for today. Where's that last frame? There we go.
All right, so we're done. We still don't know how to use this thing. Well, we kind of know how to use it. We just don't know how to light it efficiently. Uh, once again, it's working better now after we're done than it was the entire time. So if anyone has suggestions on a better way of doing this, let us know. Um, still can't spot the queen. If any of you saw her, comment on the video down underneath. Um, Today was an incredibly nice day, so they were super calm. Um, the queen, wherever she is, is laying a ton of bees. What else she doesn't add? Uh, we fed them. Fed them? We... Did you see any more dead brood? No. No dead brood. We did see the uh, cap brood that they reopened, and Chelsea, our mentor slash person we got the bees from, said that that's a behavior that they, did, that they do to get varroa mites out. We haven't seen any mites, though. Um, so what they do is they uncap the brood, go in and kill the mites, and then recap it. Um, and there was a bunch of that. Uh, you'll see it. I'll put a link to where in the video it is so you can actually see where they are. Um, There's a lot less of it this week than there was last week. Um, but the frames look healthy. They look like they're growing. I think we're going to have another boom of bees in the next week or so. So uh, we'll go from there. Uh, we'll pop it back open. and. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thanks for watching. See ya. Comment below. Subscribe. All those things.